Hey everybody and welcome to another tutorial from the Electronic Armory. In this iOS quick tip we're going to show you how to do code snippets. Code snippets are a nice way of keeping code that you use throughout each project such as uh, database controllers that you use in every project that you use databases for or maybe some kind of nice algorithm or something like that. If you're anything like me you go on to Stack Overflow, you look up how to do some kind of algorithm, maybe Base64 encoding, that sort of thing. And you want to save that code somewhere very convenient so that you can access it later. And so we're going to introduce you to code snippets within Xcode. And the way that we do this is within Xcode, we go down to this little area here and we click on this kind of curly brace icon. And this is going to give you a list of all of your different code snippets. And you can scroll through these to give you an idea of what we have in here. Now these are a mixture of Objective-C and Swift. And so you can filter these out by just typing these in and these are the updated Swift ones. And so for instance, we have a Swift closure expression. And so if you wanna know how to do that or you forget the syntax or you just don't wanna to have to type it all out, you can simply click and drag and drag that within your code file itself here. And you can see this is how you do a closure. Okay, so simply delete that. And so if, let's say you wanted to create your own. Well, this is very, very easy. Um, in this instance, I have a database controller, and this is just the database, this is just the core data stack. And let's say you wanna create your own code snippets that you wanna reuse later. And so in this example, I have a database controller, and my database controller just basically comes from the core data stack that's created when you create a default core data application. And I just like to stick that into its own file so that it's accessible from anywhere in the application, kind of like a singleton. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command A to highlight the entire code. And we're going to simply click and drag and drag this into this area here. Now the trick to this is not to just click and drag immediately because that'll start the highlighting process. But again, Command A and click and hold for a second or two until your cursor turns into an a, an arrow and then you can drag all of this code as you can see down into our code snippet area and this is going to bring up a little popover and I'm going to type in here database controller okay and then we can select different languages such as Swift Objective-C we can even have things like JSON if we just want to do JSON snippets and you get the idea there so I'm going to keep it at Swift because this is Swift 3 code and we can edit the code if we want to. So for example, maybe I don't want this, oops, let's go back up here. Maybe I don't want this creation day in here. I'll just say it's created by Electronic Armory and you know, make the code a little bit more generic if you have, if you have other values in here that are you know, specific to the application that you're working on, you can edit them here. But once you're done, you can just hit done and there you go. And so now we have as a user badge here, our database controller. And so if we go ahead and create a new file, so I'm gonna actually just go ahead and let's go over here, show you this area here, just in case you haven't seen this. Here, I'm gonna go down to the Swift file, click and drag that into my file viewer here. And I'm gonna call this, let's say database, let's say core data controller, cause I already have a database controller and I'm gonna make sure that goes into my folder. Now that I have this core data controller, I'm gonna highlight all this, delete it, go over to my code snippet, and let's pretend that this wasn't immediately available. I can just type in database controller, and there it is, drag that in, and I have all that code ready to go. So click on that. Of course, I need to change that to what it is. It's core data controller. And that's how you use code snippets. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, as well as other videos on Android, iOS, Raspberry Pi, and more, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.